So welcome to 2016. I'm really excited to bring to you a lot of um, great recipes. Um, I promised you that I was going to do a healthy menu, one item, right? So today I'm going to do uh, on my skillet that I just purchased a grilled skillet. I'm going to do a uh, chicken, low carb chicken. Uh, with very little uh, salt or sodium in it. We'll use uh, light Italian dressing. And the reason why I'm using certain ingredients, uh, you won't see any salt ingredients really other than the Italian dressing along with the lemon pepper marinara. Uh, what I did was I have three pieces of chicken breast skinless. I work on as my kitchen. Um, just to do my show to make sure that I didn't have too much going on here. So I kind of got to get used to it before I put everything out. But nevertheless, I have three chicken breasts here. And what we're going to do is marinate these for about two hours. Some people marinate their meats overnight, which is perfectly fine. A lot of people say they want to see more of me, so hopefully they can. Um, I have a lot of um, items in front of me. From Dominican Republican, thanks to my brother-in-law Eric Roden, he actually looked out for me. He got me a guacamole. Um, it's basically a guacamole uh, mixer, and then a potato smasher, or you can even use it for meat, uh, fork and spoon, along with the platanos um, smasher. And then he got me a juicer, which I love this as well. I love actually all of it. I'm gonna, actually use it too. It's souvenirs and very sentimental. My niece, she made me this apron. That's why I'm wearing it along with my chef hat. She wanted me to wear the chef hat. She said, wear your hat. Um, and they customize it. It says, Chef McFadden, love Kyra, love Tylea, and love Gianni. Gianni is my cousin's daughter. So thank you girls. Uh, these kind of things mean a lot because they took their time to draw and make me this for Christmas. I went home for Christmas, had a great time. Looking forward to going back. I didn't get to cook with my family because a lot of, everyone was kind of all over the place, but um, we will do that because we have a lot of good things coming up for my brother's birthday party. So it'll be a perfect time to kind of record as we go to cook things. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my new year by starting off with a healthy kick, which is the grilled chicken. I'm going to make a grilled vegetable uh, blend all on the skillet. So we're going to be using the skillet a lot this uh, January. Remember I said the month of January. And I'm going to go back and kind of go back to my roots of making everything I want. <laughs> uh, I'll still throw in some healthy foods. So what I'm first starting my um, ingredients with is with uh, the parsley. I would say use about two tablespoons of parsley or as much as you want. It smells so fresh. This is parsley seasoning. I'm going to use some rosemary. These are all rosemary seasonings. Of course, you can find these seasonings in the owl seasoning owls. I'm going to really open this because rosemary you got to be really careful with. Right. All right. <clears throat> then I'm going to use some garlic powder. And remember, we're staying away from the salts for this month. Only in our healthy, only in our healthy part of the menu. Okay. It's kind of strange because I got two cameras rolling again. One for up close and one for everyone to see me. So I'm adding some lemon marinara. I got a lot of great, nice gifts. Um, my new kitchen aid. <laughs> Excited to use that. We're going to use that today, actually. I'm um, going to use the rest of this Italian Robusto. It's basically a light. 
you can opt to use this like on a George Foreman or a grill or a skillet as if as what I'm gonna use here once we get it good and marinated. All right. So we have used light Italian dressing. So what I'm gonna do rather than have to put my hands in here, is I'm just gonna mix this up. Remember, you're looking for a, a healthy menu. Um, this will be great for that. And when we go to cook this, the Italian dressing is going to keep it nice and moist and um, not dried out. And why I cook so many, because um, it's just me, is I'm going to actually use this uh, several times this week. I'm going to use this in salads. You can make a, a chicken salad without the Caesar. Um, a lot of different ways. You can just make it and you eat fresh vegetables. So I try to cook things enough for the week and I love uh, this type of chicken. All right, so what I'm gonna do is let this sit. Once we let this sit, we will come back and cook again. I'm gonna let this sit for about two hours. What I'm coming up with next is I'm gonna make our peach cobbler. Phyllis, I'm so sorry. I promised you that I was going to make that cobbler two weeks ago. So, Phyllis Wesley, please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Um, just got caught up in everything that was going on at work, between work and um, just traveling, getting jet lag. That really does exist. Um, so, we'll let this sit in um, this marinara. I'm going to come back. And when I come back, we're going to make our um, fresh peach cobbler.